new video. It's me, Lego Three by Eleven L, and today I'm joined by my good friend Guy. Hey there! And we'll show and talk about the new 2018 Lego Harry Potter collectible minifigure series, and also talk about a few minifigures from the new sets. Seeing as my channel pretty much started because of the 2010 wave of Harry Potter sets, of course I had to get all these new ones. And getting a minifigure series as well, the gods have certainly heard our prayers. We'll not go into depth about every single minifigure because that will just take forever. We'll mainly just focus on how the characters look more so than the outfits they're wearing. But of course we'll also talk a little bit about that. Therefore, instead of a full-on review, this will more be a comparison between the new ones and the old ones. So before we get into that, maybe you should introduce you a little bit, so people know who you are. Uh, sure. I'm Geert from Geerto13. I make Harry Potter related animations and brick films on YouTube. And we've been working on a few things together since quite a while now. Yeah, that sounds good, man. I hope to do more projects with you in the future. But for now, let's get into this review, comparison, showcase thingy. So, the first minifigure in this series, at least according to the sheet that comes in every package, is, of course, Harry Potter. This version comes with a black Hogwarts robe, which is not something that we've seen before, so that's really cool. I still can't really decide whether I like this one better, or the one that I've been using for a while, using that graduation-style cape just with the, the crests printed on there. One thing I don't like, though, is the head and hair, which is kind of common theme throughout this series, but we'll talk a little bit about that later. The head isn't awful, but I still prefer the 2010 version, and instead of this hairpiece, I would much prefer using the Anakin Skywalker hairpiece just in black. So just to keep the Harrys together, let's just talk about the other Harry in this series right now. This version has the invisibility cloak and the pajamas, and I also really like the new invisibility cloak, it looks really good. The head for this younger version is much better than the teenage version, I think, and this is pretty much the same as they use in the set, just with some different expressions, and I like that a lot more. Also, this new hair piece is just a lot better than the old one, and we've been seeing that for 17 years now, so it's definitely due for an update. Hermione's wearing uh, the Hogwarts robes as well with a slightly different print from Harry's though, which is nice to get. Again, the head, uh, same with Harry, is not the best and I definitely prefer the 2010 version. The hair isn't bad, but it would probably go best with the older style they gave her way back in the first wave. If it wasn't for this. This is the hair they give her in all the new sets and boy is it lovely. Like, it works really well with the younger face they give her but it also works really wonderfully with uh, the 2010 head. And, oh shit, we didn't, we almost forgot the most important part. We didn't speak about those new legs, of course. So Lego made those new medium short legs that are movable like the normal ones but one played shorter. So those are perfect for giving more diversity in your minifigures and I'm absolutely in love with it. This is going to be so useful in animation. So these were also used on the robed version of Harry just before and uh, we see it on a few other characters throughout the series. So I would go with the short ones for the first two years, the medium ones for the next two and the normal adult ones for the last three movies. Ronald also has the robe, but he doesn't have the sweater on, so his shirt and tie are exposed, and I really like the look of that, and it's really nice to get. The face isn't really doing it for both of us, and I think we both prefer the first one they did for him, even though the 2010 version is also really great. I also think that the younger version of him in the sets is fine, but I still prefer the older ones. This Han Solo hairpiece in dark orange is really lovely to get, and I think works perfectly for a person of Azkaban run, but I really like pretty much all the hair pieces that they've ever come out with for Ronald, so I yeah can see myself using every single one of them just for different scenarios. The next minifigure here is Draco Malfoy in his Quidditch robes, and I think LEGO did a really good job making the robes more accurate compared to some of the older ones, even though I really like those ones as well. The face is fine, though the eyes are a little bit too big to me. I like the head they used in the sets a lot better. I don't know why, I mean they're pretty similar, but something about this that doesn't really work for me. But the ones in the sets is probably my favorite so far, because I didn't really like the older ones that much either. So yeah, great job Lego, you did good. Yeah, yeah great, good job, good job. Well what isn't so good on you Lego is the hair color though. For some weird reason they gave him this yellow color, which just looks really bad to me, and I 
I don't know if you agree with this, but uh, it's a problem that I have with many minifigures, not just on Harry Potter, but for some reason they keep going from tan to yellow. So if you want blonde hair, go with the tan version that comes in the 2010 set. It looks much better and in pretty much every circumstance. Luna is mostly a well-made figure. Again, using those awesome medium legs in blue. Uh, they gave her a skirt piece, which I personally prefer over the printed one that they gave in the 2010 set. However, I feel as though it's a bit too long, so it doesn't wrap around the figure in a nice way. But I guess that's just nitpicking on my part. The, the head is okay, I guess. I like the old one uh, just a bit more. I just use that one instead in my animations. And like, yeah, we need to talk about the hair, which is kind of a love and hate relationship for me. Because it looks great from the front, but it looks terrible from the back. Because they made it go over the shoulder bag. So um, if you take the shoulder bag off, like the hair is like floating in nowhere. It doesn't fit. I would have preferred it without the bag and a more fitting hairpiece. But nevertheless, it's a it's a cool figure, and it's 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 pretty nice to have her available in such a cheap way. For Neville, they also used these medium short legs, which doesn't really make sense to me because for every other characters from the second year, they just used the normal short ones that don't bend. But I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna complain because it's fucking awesome getting just a spare set of these. So thanks, Lego. You're the best. <laughs> I don't really think you can compare it too much to the version that came before it in 2011 because that's supposed to be from the seventh year and this is from the second year so I mean of course they look different because there are a five year gap between what they're supposed to look like. I do however prefer the first hit that they made for him in 2004 because I just feel like this new one is a little bit too cartoony because the eyes are just very big and doesn't really look that good to me but um, the, the old one is, uh, is a good one. Lastly I think it's a nice torso and I also really like the new Mandrake piece. It's not that accurate, but I still prefer it to the old one where they just used the printed head. Okay, so now I've got Cho Chang, who we need to talk about because for some odd reason, they confused her with one of the Patil twins. I don't know. Lego, seriously, her skin is literally some of the lightest in the actual series. Why? God knows why is she flesh color. Like, I can't even really say I like the head print, even if it had been light flesh, but never mind. The hair is a great choice, though, and we've both been using that for quite a few years as well. And the skirt is sort of the same story as with Luna. I love that they use it, that they give those skirts, but it doesn't fit so well, so it, it looks a bit odd. Anyway, we need to talk about probably the most exciting thing about this figure and about another figure in the set series, which is the fact that we now have Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff uniforms, something Lego has been keeping from us for 17 fucking years. So I I think it's a great that we finally get those. Um, that's that's really cool. And Ravenclaw in particular, because there's so many important characters that are from that house. Yeah, I definitely think you're right, but I personally prefer the blue and bronze colors from the books, so I've made custom minifigures of that. Probably not really going to use this one that much, but it's still really awesome to get. So here you can see my version of her, just with a, a different head. This is the one of the mermaids from Pirates of the Caribbean, and then with the blue and bronze torso. But still, not going to bash on Lego for making the blue and silver. It's awesome. I just personally prefer the blue and bronze. This next minifigure is Dean Thomas. There's not really that much to talk about. He's again wearing a rope like the first three minifigures and it looks really good. He also is wearing a scarf, which is pretty awesome. So I am um, personally really like this one. Lord Voldemort, oh god, the Dark Lord has returned. Lego, what have you done? Okay, I need to say, before I do this, uh, I always, like, in this video, it will sound like I'm really bitching on the collectible minifigures, which is not the case. I love the new series, it's great. But Voldemort... What have you done? I mean, everybody's unhappy about this. Lucas is unhappy. I'm unhappy. Everybody's unhappy. Uh, the dark green of his torso and skirt piece. In some scenes, it may look a little green in the movies. Okay, we can agree on that. But come on. We don't need 100% accuracy. He looks black. Oh, he does. He's like, no, he doesn't. Look, he's, he, looks, he looks pale. I mean, his robes are black. Luckily, of course, this can easily be repaired by using the 2010 torso. And one of those new skirt pieces in black. Uh, about the head, even that is a little bit off, I feel. I think it, it would have been leagues better if they made the wrinkles on his face as light as on the old one and maybe left out the nostrils altogether like in the dimensions one that's what i think about this figure so the next minifigure is Dobby, and this is another one where they almost got it right, but ended up kind of screwing it up instead. The torso and the duomo little legs are absolutely awesome. I think it looks so good. I love the legs, and they're just very useful. 
But that uh, that head, not too happy about that one. I don't really know what they could do to make it better. Maybe shrink it a little bit, make it a little smaller. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just off to me. I can't really say that you could just switch it out with the old one because personally, I'm not so happy about that one either. So alas, I don't really know what you can do. But uh, yeah, again, torso, legs, awesome, head, not so much. We need to talk about Professor Trelawney because, let's face it, LEGO has stepped up their game with the rest of the minifigures. And now this is, of course, the case with Sybil Trelawney, who is a major improvement on the previous one. She only appeared in one set back in the day that was really expensive, so first of all, everybody's happy to be able to get her now, and the design is absolutely lovely. The only complaint that we could have is the lack of back printing, but since the rest of the figure is absolute perfection, we can live with that, and that's okay. Even the teacup and plate are just really great. Uh, looking at the old version, the new one just blows it completely out of the water. Don't get me wrong, we both love the old version. I used it at animations tons of times. In terms of accuracy though, I really don't know what they were thinking back in the day, but this new design is absolutely magnificent. It's sort of a roller coaster of emotions right now between the awful Voldemort and the beautiful Trinoli. There's so many things going on. <sighs> we need to get a break and talk about Cedric Diggory. Yeah, sure, let's talk about Cedric Diggory. I think the torso for him is really good, and I really like the stripes that go down the side of his legs. However, I do feel like the legs would look better in black. Maybe grey is more accurate to the movies, but well, I personally think that it looks better. I think the head and the hair are okay, but I think they could have done better, though I don't know what I personally would do to make it better, but like, you should be able to do something a little bit better than this. This is the first Cedric that we've ever gotten, so I can't really compare it to another Cedric, but I can compare it to the third task Harry that we got back in the day. Hell, why not just throw in my old custom version of this? This new one is better in pretty much every way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it a lot and uh, I definitely have to update my old Triwiz Tournament minifigures because they are a little bit dated. Next uh, figure is Professor Phileas Flitwick, and this new minifigure is a really good one. Uh, I love the new hairpiece they gave him and the use of the bow tie and the tailcloth. Overall, really well done. We need to address the accessories in this video because we haven't talked too much about it, but Flitwick has this new megaphone, which I think deserves a mention. It looks really good, and I'm sure that it will be useful for a lot of other things as well. So Flitwick did have a minifigure in 2010. It already looked really good. Uh, I was really happy with it back in the day, but this update is a warm welcome, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Mad-Eye Moody, this is also a very good minifigure, I think. I think they did a fantastic job. The face is another case where I think the new one is better, but I definitely think the old one deserves credit because it was really nice. I, I liked the old one a lot. I like the jacket, but I do prefer the peg leg piece that they used back in 2005. But of course, that wouldn't really look that good with the jacket because they don't usually print on those pieces. So it would have looked a little bit off. The new hair is also another lovely new mold. And I hope that they'll make that in a lot of other colors in the future. Because that should definitely be useful for a lot of different things. I did come up with this combination that I personally think looks really good. Using the old torso and the new head and old man Luke's hair piece from The Last Jedi. Well, just thought I'd show you. I mean, you might not like it. I don't know. I just thought I'd show you because I, I could quite like it actually. This is a minifigure where we actually get two in one, because if you turn the head around, we have Barty Crouch Jr. They even came with a different hair piece, so you could switch the hairs out and it would look more like Barty Crouch. I am not personally that happy with that hair piece, so I personally prefer something like this, or maybe this. And that tongue is a little too cartoony for me, but I mean, I kind of see why they did it, but it's just not really for me. Professor Albus Dumbledore, this is another great figure, one of my personal favorites. They again use this new skirt piece, which looks really good on him, and the new hair with uh, the hat and the use of the Vitruvius beard, which works really well. When it comes to Dumbledore uh, from the Great Horse set, I really like the new design of the robes in the face. I really like the new hair piece, which by the way is the same one as the one with the hat. I do think that the Gandalf beard looks a bit weird with the new hair piece. So uh, myself, I might change it up a bit and use the old beard with the new face and robes design. Because as Emmett say, don't follow the instructions and everybody can do as they like. That's what Lego is all about. So, you know, enjoy yourself, please yourself with the different outfits since uh, Dumbledore has got quite a few over the years and uh, decide what works best for you. So this is the end of the collectibles, but- Oh, so sad. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we do feel like we want to show other characters from the set because some of them are actually really good. The first one of those being Minerva McGonagall. This one uses just normal legs instead of a dress like the other ones have in the past. And I personally would have preferred them using the new skirt piece, but I know that you Gid likes the legs for animation. Yeah, they can finally walk so at last. That's that's <laughs> that's great for you. The black hat is a bit more accurate than the dark green one, but I do feel like they should probably retire this mold for the witch and wizard's hat because it does look a bit dated to me so I would really like to see a new mold for that but yeah we'll see. So personally I prefer to use a hair bun instead of the hat because I just think that looks better. The new face here is also good but personally I am I'm leaning more towards the old one. For this new Hagrid figure, they did a complete redesign, which is really nice to see, as the old one, while totally acceptable, didn't really fit that well with the other minifigures. Uh, now it's a bit smaller, so it doesn't look too ridiculous next to, let's say, baby Harry, but the new beard and hair combo is really lovely. Um, though we would have preferred it in black, I know this is the sort of accuracy thing we talked about, where yes, he's got dark brown hair, but I mean, come on, it looks black. It's just the same with the Voldemort robes. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to be nitpicking on that. I think it's a really well-made figure. The face is pretty spot on, and it really works well, the entire figure, with those short legs, that if you put movable legs under it, you'll have a Hagrid that'll be able to walk. Again, I have to point out here, accessories, really an update. The lantern piece is a great new addition to the accessories, and this pink Pink umbrella really works well. So the next minifigure is August Filch, and this is another one of those where we got a figure in the past. That one was really good, I think. The head wasn't perfect, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. So for this new one, they pretty much just updated the face, which is great, because yeah, everything else about him was great in the past, and it's still great now. The only thing where I feel like it kind of ruins it is the hair. I mean, I really understand why they went with this. I, I see what they were going for, but unfortunately, I just don't think it works that well because the hair that is actually there just doesn't look like Filch's hair. So yeah, I don't know. It It's nice to get that piece, but for Filch, not the biggest fan. I did actually try out the newer Dumbledore hair piece from the Great Hall set and that one actually surprisingly worked really well. It's not perfect at all, but just to me, that actually looked pretty good. This new Quirrell figure is uh, pretty good, although I have to say, and maybe this is my nostalgia speaking, but I was a really big fan of the old figure uh, with the yellow face and everything. Uh, back in the day, I thought it was one of the most beautifully designed figures of that time. And uh, this new update, although welcome, of course, and it, it's got a light flesh face and everything, so that that's great. But something doesn't work for me. I think it's the colors that bother me a little bit. The light purple on the black make everything look a bit dull to me. And I really prefer the dark purple robes that they gave him back in Philosopher's Stone sets. So this is one of those cases where, again, I'll probably mess around with the new face on the old body and maybe play around either with the new turban or the old turban design and see what works best for me. But then again, the figure is uh, well designed and it's an update of a sort. So the last figure we would like to talk about is Severus Snape. We've seen a lot of different Snapes throughout the years and it's probably one of those characters that have had the most significant updates. At least from the Prison of Azkaban version to the Order of the Phoenix version. That was quite an update. <laughs> this new one, it's a very good one. I really like it. For this guy, it's almost the opposite as for Hagrid and Voldemort, where I actually think that inaccuracies make it look maybe not better, but at least good, because I don't think his undershirt, or what you'd call it, is that purple in the movies, but I like it. I think it looks very good. It makes it pop a little bit more, and it's a nice addition. This new face isn't bad at all, but I personally prefer the one from 2007. They're very different, so you might not like the 2007 version at all, but it is still my personal favorite. So yeah, finishing thoughts. I think you need it's a cape, so now he's now he's got a cape. And let's wrap this video up. So I really like most of these new minifigures. It was a little bit of a roller coaster of emotion, as Geet said early on, because some of them weren't that good and some of them were really fantastic. But actually the sets themselves aren't that bad either. I can definitely see a younger version of myself being absolutely ecstatic about them. So yeah, that's great. Even adult me, I found it really nice building experience. So good on you, Lego. Also, thank you very much to Geet for being in this video. It was very fun. My pleasure. And um, where can people go check you out if they want to see some stuff you made? 
Uh, if they want to see some stuff I do, or even some of your decals turned into animation, that's possible as well at Gatos13, the channel, or follow us on Facebook at the Gatos13 page. Yeah, cool. Go check him out, and also go check out my Flickr and Instagram if you want to see other stuff that I've made, and uh, stay tuned for new videos that will hopefully come soon. Who knows? But yeah, thanks very much for watching, and the Lego 3 by 11 l signing out. I like it a lot more than the one that oh no I don't know that's not true um so, I don't I don't like it more than the other one 2010